Today we will be talking about pharmaceutical care unit because the emerging role of pharmacist is, is, is demanding that and in the patient safety and for the safe practice of medicine. Now, having said that, what is important? Important to understand is define a pharmaceutical care unit, then you must understand the differentiation between the traditional care pharmacy practices, the clinical pharmacy practices and the pharmaceutical care unit or the pharmaceutical care practices. Remember, these three are most oftenly misconfused by the even pharmacy graduates and the pharmacy technicians, especially uh, working uh, at the international forum. Now, uh, what is the scope of pharmaceutical care unit? We will be also focusing on that and we will also focus on the practice of pharmaceutical care unit. So, let me proceed. What is pharmacy practice? How pharmacy practice embrace all these things. So regarding this, uh, uh, what you can say, uh, uh, diagram, it's quite obvious that uh, in the center there is patient and there may be retail pharmacy practices, there may be hospital pharmacy practices, there may be uh, clinical pharmacy practices, there may be uh, your target population is patient, you may be working in sales and marketing, you may be working in academia, you see, academia. So this diagram is not specific and confined merely to these, these points, two, three, and four. You can add on, like academia, research can be added here. So this is a continuum, and this continuum tells you the pharmacy practices and the role of pharmacists in different, in different, in different, uh, what you can say, scenarios. But uh, primarily to focus on pharmacy practice, here we have targeted the hospital pharmacy, uh, the retail pharmacy or community pharmacy and the, and the settings like what you can say, the pharmaceutical care units that we will be focusing on in this discussion. So there is no hard and fast rules regarding this continuum. But, but, but one thing is to be keep in mind that in hospital pharmacy practices, you see, there may be procurement segments may be separate the clinical pharmacy practices may be separate and so on. And sometimes the hospital pharmacy sits in, in OPD and that is an outdoor pharmacy as well. So it depends upon the setting of the hospitals and the practices being rendered by the hospitals for the patients. And of course, the practices has been rendered by the pharmacy practices that have been rendered by the, by the concerned hospital authorities. So now look, we proceed. And what is important, Certain to all this is the patient or the clinical pharmacy practices. Uh, what is pharmaceutical care? This is sometimes called as pharmacist care, remember. Like medical care, medical care is usually based on medicine or dentistry, you see, and that the physician and, 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 the, and the dentist, they are, they are the team leader in certain areas when so far their practices are concerned. But in pharmaceutical care unit, pharmacist is the team leader. And what it renders, it is based on specific activities and the services to which an individual pharmacist cooperates. This terminology is important, cooperates with the patient and number third, that is the other health professionals. So remember, hospital is an intricate organization involving different professionals for the benefits of the patients and for the restoration of health, you see. So if you keep in mind the definition of that hospital, so you may come across with different health professionals. So thus, this, there is a cooperation between a patient, between other health professionals like medicine, dentistry, uh, nursing, paramedics. What you are doing, the objective is to design, implement and of course monitor a therapeutic plan that will produce a specific targeted outcome. And what are outcomes? Outcomes are very important, you see. Thus, it is a teamwork because you involve different health professionals. But keeping in view the outcomes, regarding outcome, the outcome may be clinical, the outcome may be humanistic, and the outcome may be economical. And there can be other uh, subdivision like in clinical you go to comorbidity and mortality, morbidity and mortality. So that is uh, a separate story, but that is not the focus of this lecture. Uh, but what is important, important is that you, in, you, 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 are, you are going to achieve the targeted 
outcomes, whether that is clinical or that is humanistic or that is an economical outcome, or a mixture of all these by uh, adopting the standard operating procedure. So thus, you will cooperate with the patient, you will cooperate with the health professional, and you will promote that, the teamwork. This is a very critical point to remember. So I have taken this from, from American Journal of Hospital Pharmacy Practices and the Opportunities and Responsibilities in Pharmaceutical Care Unit. Remember, it's an old paper, but the pharmacy profession is being passing on to the phase of evolution. Now, focus area of practice of pharmaceutical care. So you are going to, there is drug monitoring. You are going drug monitoring. You may be doing drug monitoring. For example, there are certain diseases like oncology, like in chronic diseases, for example, just to heart failure, chronic kidney failure, or as the case may be, and where you are going to monitor the drug. The drug may be a specific targeted drug, and sometimes you may come across with an unwanted drug reaction, and you will follow that. So far, the standard protocol are concerned. So you will be number first targeting drug monitoring. Disease monitoring is also a joint venture of medicine, and at the, of course, the pharmacy as well. So for a specific disease state, for example, you received a patient, your, your physician uh, uh, or cardiologist has prescribed certain medicine to a person suffering from stage 2 heart failure, and what is the prognosis? Of course, he will go to the, he will go to the, he will go to the cardiologist, but remember, he is also coming towards you, and you have to get the right history and, 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 and medication record. So drug therapy, disease status, by protocol, you are going to follow that. For example, sometime there may be initial digitalization, and initial digitalization is your job that you are going to carry on the pro the protocol. So that's the teamwork and and management and collaborative practice is a is a is a is a key point. Now, what is important? Important is that you may incorporate one or more than general practices. This is a technical point. Incorporate one or more than general practices. For example, you may be opting number of this one, you may be opting this one, you may be opting this one, or you may be only opting this first one that is drug monitoring or disease monitoring or combination. So it depends upon the targeted and suited protocols for that particular patient. Now what is important, important to understand is that the focus area of practice of pharmaceutical care unit is primarily on drug monitoring, disease monitoring, or prognosis and drug therapy and diseases and management is collaborative practices. So, what is the scope of pharmacy practice within pharmaceutical care unit? So, it renders or it is referred to the role and the role is in the treatment of either in preventive, uh, what you can say, the role may be preventive, the role may be uh, in the treatment of chronic ailment, you see, or in the primary disease prevention, or in the treatment of an acute, acute ailment. So these are the three areas. But what is important that that you must understand the prevention of drug-related problems or expanding the role of pharmacists. Besides dispensing role in pharmaceutical care services, what you are going, you are you are sometimes you are going to redesign the professional workflow or assignment of technical function that may be assigned to the to the to the other other staff working under your supervision. For example, Category B or pharmacy technician is working under your supervision and you may, be, you may be guiding them while keeping in view the targeted outcome of the disease, targeted outcome of the disease, which is a joint venture of, with the physician and of the pharmacy profession, you see, and you will be sometime, sometime uh, working with the nursing profession as well because the nursing profession is going to take their own notes, the pharmacy, pharmacist notes, and the medical care notes. And the nursing, it is the nursing profession that is going to administer the drugs and keeping the patient uh, nursing. So, your, your role is quite evident to focus on the other health professionals while designing your professional workflow so that it shall be convenient to the, to the, to the, to the, to the other health professionals for a targeted outcome. This is a technical point to remember. But your role may be, again, I'm repeating that may be in the treatment of an acute disease or chronic ailment like tuberculosis or, 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 or what you can say like oncology or cardiology 
So therefore, our diabetology even, so therefore, the for scope of the practice in the pharmaceutical care unit has now been, been specialized in technologically advanced countries like UK and USA. And what is important, important is that, for example, these specialties in, in diabetology, in diabetology, there may be specialty in pediatrics or in oncology. There may be specialty in parental nutrition. So, so, so in Pakistan, this this is now passing through the phase of evolution, and we are trying through a joint venture with WHO and Harvard Medical University to bring a set up of the clinical pharmacy and, of course, the pharmaceutical care practices. So, what is important? So your role is not only to target the patient. Your role is not only the counseling, but your role is a pharmaceutical care, providing the pharmaceutical care services. What is important to understand, this table will help you that there is traditional pharmacy, there is clinical pharmacy, and there is pharmaceutical care. What is the difference? The difference is we are going to focus on the primary. Number one, number one is that the primary focus is, in case of traditional pharmacy, is on the prescription order. For example, you are sitting in uh, in OPD or uh, what you can say outside OPD, there is pharmacy. As it is in Pakistan now, uh, around the hospital, there are many pharmacies and they receive a prescription order and that is the OTC request and you just, you just, you just fill that prescription so it is on demand. And you have to bear that because you are going to get your 20% or 15% as per rules of that um, procurement or drug procurement. So you do not want to, you do not want to uh, lose that prescription and you are oriented only on the drug product that you want to say that your product should be sell, you see. Uh, and regarding uh, uh, what you can say, uh, clinical pharmacy, uh, what is the primary focus? The primary focus may be the physician or other health professionals. This is important. And 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 the continuity against this is discontinuous because a nurse goes and takes care of the patient profile chart to the pharmacy and the pharmacist goes and find a fault so he may inform the physician that remove this drug or add this drug remember here is no input from from the patient no input from the patient no input from the patient no input from the patient so what is important it is no input from the patient in case of clinical pharmacy, though the target is the patient. In case of pharmaceutical care unit, the primary focus is the patient, whereas it is a continuous process. Why a continuous process? Because you are going to redesign, redesign your plan. And once you are going to redesign your plan to get the targeted outcomes. So therefore, therefore pharmaceutical care unit is a continuous process regarding continuity. It is a continuous process and so far the strategy is concerned regarding strategy. Here objective is in the anticipation of an adverse reaction that is not going to happen or you are going to improve the targeted outcome of a pharmaceutical care plan. So, so, so what is important? Important is here and so far focusing is concerned you are focused on the outcome as well. So, thus, in pharmaceutical care unit, you directly get inputs from the patients. Here, you are not going to get input from the patient. You are primarily involved with other health professionals. And, and it's a discontinuous process. You see, it is a continuous process. And you here find a fault or you just or, or prevention and you just give inputs. But here, the patient inputs that is involved. And this is the classical difference between the pharmaceutical care unit and the clinical pharmacy practices. I hope now you understand the, the difference between clinical pharmacy, pharmaceutical care unit and traditional pharmacy. In Pakistan, there is usually a traditional pharmacy, even in the hospital setup. They just give technical drugs and there is no intervention from the pharmacist. In very rare or Shokat Hanum or, or what you can say or Shifa hospitals, but there is intervention, but that intervention are so much. Or in Afghan Medical University, as for the international standards, and that is why in the in the in the developed countries there is there is um, specialty in oncology, in parental nutrition, pediatric, internal medicine, pharmacy, or as the case may be. So, what is important? Important is that by the time now you understand what is the difference between traditional pharmacy, clinical pharmacy, and pharmaceutical care. I hope now you. I have understand. Thank you.